There's a reason why I don't record at 5.30 in the morning. This is my seventh attempt to start this conversation. I wanted to talk to you today about food, specifically what I eat during the work week. During the work day, I have routines to help me get through the day so that I can be productive. Those routines are all about get taking care of my body, taking care of my mind, so that I can give my best to my work, my actual job, my nine to five, if you will, and my creative work, my writing, art, whatever. So breakfast is really boring. It's a greens fiber supplement and bone broth. That's what I have for breakfast. I take my meds, I drink some water, I might have a cup of tea, but that's really it in the morning. I'm going to finish my broth and I'll give you a proper good morning here in a minute after I've had a chance to wake up. Waiting on the kids to come out so we can head out to school, but I uh, just hope you're going to have a good day today. Make sure at some point you get up and stretch a little bit, drink some water, take your meds that applies to you, eat something if you can, and I hope you remember you are loved, you matter. I'm so glad you're here with me. I hope you have an awesome day. I have, uh, it's Tuesday, so it's a busy day of work and then tutoring and then mental health support group. Wow, look at the moss growing on the roof of the carport. Is that something I should be concerned about? My lunch at work is very simple because otherwise I won't eat. So I just get one of those protein shakes and then a protein bar and then my lunch meds and I make a cup of coffee. If eating is not simple and easy to get to, I often will not eat lunch at all during my work day. So I've just had to find the healthiest way to make sure I stay fed. So if you struggle with making sure you eat at work, that might be something to look into. All right, just got out of tutoring. That went really well. It's always exciting when you see a student growing and improving. Um, yeah, it's nice. It's like watching a flower bloom. Is that silly? <laughs> about to run into Target to get some more uh, lunch items. I realize I need some kind of snack, like a bag of trail mix or something simple to make sure that I'm not starving by the time I go to dinner. Because that's the problem. My food items are simple, but they're also small doses. So because I don't eat a lot at one sitting, I need to eat more frequently. So I'm also going to look for some trail mix. This is my, this really ratty, nasty looking thing is a book clutch that I made like two years ago, I think. And I had switched to carrying a little bag, but I don't, I miss this. I keep coming back to it and I love it so much and it's falling apart and I've got to find a way to help it. I already had to do tape, but see, it holds my wallet, my headphones, my phone charger, and then my earplugs. So just the basic daily everyday carry stuff. Anyway, I don't know. This needs some help desperately.
got what I needed from Target and now I am heading to mental health support group and yeah food is such a tricky thing whether you are neurodivergent or whether you just have a history of food issues or whether you're just one of those people who's so busy that you don't bother to stop and eat for me it is kind of all three I definitely went through a phase where I did not have a healthy relationship with food a lot of it stemmed from my body issues and insecurities and then I also have issues with like texture and sometimes just making a decision of what to eat but also busyness when I'm really busy when I'm really focused on what I'm doing whether it's work or if I'm just out having fun, I won't think about food until my blood sugar is too low and I can't concentrate and now I can't even figure out what I want to eat. So thinking ahead and basically kind of having food staged for me and having routines to make sure that I eat at the right times ensures not only that I do eat, but that I eat the right food because sometimes I'll go too long without eating and then I'll just eat you know, an entire bag of chips or something like that, which no judgment, it happens sometimes, but I usually feel sick afterwards. So anyway, uh, dinners, I don't really worry about because we eat those as a family. So whether I cook or whether my wife cooks, that is planned. And on the weekends, everything slows down a lot. So I tend to, um, you know, not have a problem with making sure that I eat then. But on the days that I work, on the days that I'm busy, that's when planning out my meals, setting up healthy options for myself, usually trying to make sure the healthy option is the only option, is the way that I can ensure that I eat. Anyway, how about you? Does food, is food an issue for you? Or is that like, or you've watched this thing and like, oh my gosh, I don't even know what this guy's talking about. This is such a stupid problem, (laughs) which is fair. I've told myself that many a time. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you do to make sure that you eat healthy and eat the right things. All right, friends, it's time for your next adventure. I'll miss you.